السلام عليكم hello guys to another video today we are going to see how to block removable storage on windows 10 or 11 uh, via intune okay so why we should and need to block removable storage because currently it's more dangerous to let the removable storage allow by us end users because who knows uh, currently we are facing like dangerous ransomwares so especially like ransomwares as, as i mentioned so it will gonna clip your whole data and it's more difficult to decrypt your data so to avoid and to be away from this big problem just block it and you will at least uh, increase uh, your security yes as you can see currently the end user can access removable storage flash usb external hard drive or even like a mobile phone when they link it and plug it with the phone with the laptop via cable usb so let's go and let's get started how we can block this removable storage on intune we are going to go to devices and then select the device you want to apply this rule for of course on windows and then uh, let's create click on configuration sections okay now we create new policy so let's choose windows 10 ledger and provide tab so block block remo removable storage we can block it from settings catalog or templates so what's the difference between those options uh, both of them can block the usb removable storage but one of them give you more advanced and flexible option this is one okay let's uh, take a quick look on it and then you can you can you'll be able to see the difference okay next add settings here we're gonna type the key of that option removable storage enter and then here, here we go tablet system removal storage access select as you can see removable storage deny all access great read write or copy removal storage the same one for for users great as you can see we can block removable storage for users device and uh, dvd cd and uh, let's uh, uh, scroll down you can also for many things like uh, remove uh, execute like uh, remote section force a lot tab drive also here wpd it stands for mobile phone when you plug and connect your mobile phone such as android or ios via cable usb you can also block this and other things uh, also remote session rdp you can block usb as you can see it's flexible to block and allow it exclude something related to removable storage but the other one as we see template it just block all kind of re removable storage let's see it you can choose it and see it from section under the device section select it and let's take a quick name and then from general we have this option removable storage so basically rem block the use removable storage on the device so in this lab we're gonna see that because um, we want we are not interested to block something and allow something so we are interested to block all kind of all kinds of remo removable storage so that's fair enough so yes that's that, that's what what we need block and then next 
scoop tag it doesn't matter la purpose let's choose anything or let's scoop tag hit next we're gonna make it all devices or you can choose group uh, include some devices it doesn't matter okay all device what what you whatever you want okay hit next there are no priority we're gonna make it by default review create okay refresh now we can see our uh, rule we have created right now let's go to device and force the sync okay so here we our device labcom ca let's click in sync okay so this is our device you can see the host name from cmd let's check it labcom ca let's uh, sync also from the device go account and then choose access work or school and let's collect and get some updates okay so let's let's wait and in meantime i'm gonna stop the video and then i will come back okay because it it stick a little bit okay so without wasting the time let's uh, see I will see you then. Okay, after a little bit of time, let's uh, move on and check again. Let's plug the USB, flash USB, inside the on computer. Okay, let's choose virtual connected to virtual machine. Okay, and here we go. We're gonna see removable storage. So. As you can see, it uh, dis disappear is not uh, appear like usually. Like usually, so let's ch click right, open. We're gonna uh, pop up a window. It says access denied, not accessible. Okay, so here we go. So policy configuration provides its work. Let's back came back to devices and let's say the report configuration. Take a report view. So we have uh, not yet mm, the report. You can we can click and refresh, refresh the page, and let's take a look again. Of course, we will see the result here. Okay. So currently, it need a, lit a little bit of time. So yes. Yes, uh, after a while, like uh, three minutes, something like that, we can see the report. It's uh, appear. It's shown right now. As we can see, we have the, the device and the user sign in. And yes, the last report modific modific modification time. So that's set in this video. I hope you are understand. See you to other videos. Stay tuned. See you later. Goodbye.